Hi, this is Holly at the Potomac Bead Company. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a cup chain and wire wrapped bezel for a bead. The materials we'll need for this project are a large bead, uh, preferably one that has a hole large enough that you can get two pieces of 20 gauge wire through. You'll need some 20 gauge wire. You can see that I'm using some non-tarnished brass um, art wire. You'll need some cup chain, and you want to make sure that you have enough cup chain to go the whole way around your bead. And then you'll also need some 24 gauge wire that I have here. The tools that you'll need for this project are some cutters, a round nose plier for the bale, and a pair of flat nose or chain nose pliers. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've cut a length of our 20 gauge wire and I'd say it's probably anywhere to 12 from 12 to 14 inches long and what you need to make sure is that you have enough wire to go around the entire outside of your bead plus down through the center. We're going to go ahead and start by trying to make our bale and what we're going to do is we're going to try to find center on our wire and we're going to come in with our round nose pliers. And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap both sides tightly around the largest part of your round nose pliers to make a large loop. From there what you're going to do is come back with your flat nose pliers and make a 90 degree bend on both wires. And this is going to straighten them out and give you a nice loop for your bale. Like that. So then we're going to slide our bead on both of our wires. Clear up to the top like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to shape our wires around the outside of our bead. And what we're going to do is with just one of those wires, we're going to secure it by wrapping around our bale. You can do either that you want. You want to do it kind of loose because we need to have enough allowance to wrap our cup chain. Just like that. I'll come in with my cutters and just trim that off. And then with my flat pliers, just kind of pinch that down. Alright, so this is what you should have at this point. Now what we're going to do is start incorporating our cup chain. Okay, We're actually going to start on the side that we secured and we're going to take a length of our 24 gauge wire and again you're going to want to make sure that you have enough to go around the entire bead you're going to be wrapping in between those crystals on your cup chain a couple times. So we're going to start by simply doing a very tight wrap. And if you need to, you can come down here and slide that up, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap that two or three times just to get it started and if you need to go back in with your flat pliers and kind of pinch that together you can do that like that and we'll slide that up to our bale and we're ready to start adding in our cup chain so we slide our or hold our cup chain there and then we take our wire and you're going to wrap two to three times once I'm done being butterfingers here. Wrap our 24 gauge wire two times in between each crystal. Oops, make sure that you're going underneath that wire there. And the first couple are always the trickiest. So there's one. We need one more. Just like that. So we have crystal number one done. 
I'm going to continue to do my wraps in between the crystals. Again, doing two wraps in between each crystal, making it tight on that 20 gauge wire. If you get kinks in your wire, you can use some nylon jaw pliers to help straighten that out. And you're just going to continue the whole way around your bead, wrapping two times in between each crystal. Try to make sure that you're keeping your cup chain facing towards the front. You don't want it to be off to the side because then all you're going to see is metal. You want to be able to see those beautiful crystals. So just make sure that when you're wrapping it, you keep it towards the front. And just keep wrapping. The whole way around. So we have the length of our cup chain wrapped onto our 20 gauge wire and I have just a little bit of a tail left here. What you're going to do now is try to shape that around your bead. That's the great thing with wire is that you can get it to sit pretty much however you want it to sit. I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim this tiny little piece of wire there. And then if you want to use a pair of pliers to kind of um, fold that down, you can do that as well. Um, once you have everything trimmed, what you're going to do is, like I said, shape it around the front. And then with the remaining 20 gauge wire, you're just going to wrap that around the bale that uh, you created at the beginning. And then all you need to do is once you get everything put into place, just kind of bend your wire. You want to make sure that your cup chain is uh, looking towards the front, you don't want to be able to see the brass side of that, so you want it to kind of look like that. Um, just keep working with it until you get it to sit the way that you want. My bead has a little bit of a wave in it, so it's going to be a little more challenging to get that to sit correctly. But just keep working with it, and uh, we're going to trim this wire off once we get it set. Just like that and then uh, pinch that down to secure it and there you go you have a cup chain wire wrapped bead bezel